Okay, guys. If you, let's look on page 362 and 363. This was your independent practice. Voyage to the bottom of the sea. And this is a passage about um, a group of explorers who went to try to, um, well, I'm at a loss for my words, who tried to go deep into the ocean to explore some of these trenches that they had read about, okay? So, if you read your passage, you found a lot of facts about that voyage, and if you go back, if you look on the next page on 363, your diagram that goes with this passage is of the vessel that they went down below in. Okay, the diagram of the Trieste. All right, so, and it talked about different things that they saw on their voyage. And if you look at page 364, there is another diagram that is on this page and if you notice on this one it has different times so that tells you some things that happened during that time all right so let's look at your answers because this was your independent practice so this independent means that you are to do this on your own all right if you look at this question one says, from the text, you could infer that the voyage of the Triesty was a dangerous research project, which two detail, details from the timeline best support this inference. So if I look at that, I notice they have chosen choice C and choice E. So let's go back and let's look at those choices that we did not circle. Or let's look at the ones we did first and why those are right. The inference that the voyage was dangerous is supported by the details about the explosion being heard, which is in choice C, and communication ending. Okay, let's look at A. A is incorrect because Picard meant to release gasoline so the craft could sink. All right, B, D, and F are milestones reached by the craft, but they do not show that the crew was in danger. So your best choices are C and E. Okay, let's look at the next one, number two. The question has two parts. First, answer part A, then answer part B. Part A, which detail, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sneezing today. Which detail from the diagram of the triassi is supported by the text. So the correct answer choice is A because the diagram shows a small window and paragraph seven says that the crew was able to see outside the craft. Okay, B contradicts paragraph three, which says the crew members were jammed in and could barely move. C contradicts paragraph seven, which says the crew flashed lights and saw outside their window. And D focuses on the propellers. These are shown in the diagram, but are not mentioned in the text. So your best answer was A. All right, let's look at part B. Underline two sentences from the text that supports your answer to part A. So if I'm going back, I'm gonna underline, they saw a flat white fish about a foot long that Picard described as a sole. That's telling you what they saw from the little window. And little red shrimp swam in front of their window. So both of those sentences tells you that they could see out of their vessel. Okay? All right. Let's go to our next page. All right. Question three. In paragraph seven, what is the meaning of the word groundbreaking. Okay, if you think of a groundbreaking discovery, okay, groundbreaking means that it is new and it is important. A and B are not supported by your context, which clearly takes place in the ocean. And D is an incorrect reading of the word breaking in the compound word. Groundbreaking means that it's new and important. All right, number four, the box below includes details about the voyage, okay? And they give you five details. 
Complete the chart by using details from the box. Write one detail that only appears in the text, one detail that only appears in a visual, and one detail that appears in both the text and the visual. Okay, so these were some examples that they gave. Okay, in the text, the crew saw shrimp at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. So that was, that was only found in the text. <coughs> okay, the visual, after entering the triesty, the crew changed into dry clothes and had a snack. That's only shown in the visual. It's not shown in the text, just in the visual. But one that they both have in common, that's found in both, Releasing lead pellets help the craft rise to the surface of the ocean. So that was found in both the text and one of the visuals. Okay, let's go look at your writing. All right, how did the diagram and the timeline support the details in the passage? Explain how these visuals added to the text information. Describe one example of a fact you learned from the diagram that was not in the passage. Describe one example of a fact you learned from the timeline that was not in the passage. So, a sample response. This is an example they gave from the book. The diagram provided information about what the triads to look like. This information is important because it helps me visualize what the text explains. It also shows the, shows the size, which is 50 feet long. Now, the timeline gives a summary of the passage events in an order that is easy to follow. The timeline also includes details that are not part of the passage, such as 2,400 feet and men ate chocolate and changed clothes. So it couldn't have been too bad down there if they were eating chocolate, right? All right, your learning target. In this lesson, you interpreted information that was presented in images, charts, graphs, and other visuals. Explain how this information gives you a deeper understanding of the text topic. All right, so some of you are going to have some different answers. But we've talked about this in all of our lessons, guys, about how the diagrams and the visuals and the different things can add to your text. And it can more fully explain what the text is trying to tell you. Remember, we talked about how those visuals and the text work hand in hand together because they are working together to help you with your information. If you're like me, if I'm reading a nonfiction passage, which we've talked about how nonfiction is harder to read. To me, if I'm reading nonfiction and they give me some visuals, it's easier for me to understand that nonfiction reading, okay? And like I told you in the previous lessons, do not skip the visuals and do not skip the text. You've got to read both of them because they may give you information only from the text. They may give you just visual information or they may combine it and give you from both, okay? So that's why it's extremely important that you do both of them, okay? All right, I hope y'all have a great weekend. And we will start next week with explaining author's reason and evidence for next week, okay? All right, y'all have a great weekend. Work hard. And I will see y'all next time.